Ladies and gentlemen, Penn and Teller! And tell her look comfortable. Well, maybe too comfortable. Are they ready for our first magician? Let's meet them and find out. My name is Ryan Chandler from Omaha, Nebraska. By day, I'm a teacher, and by night, I do magic and music. Just like creating a song, it's the same thing creating a trick or a routine. You want to put in your own formula and try to just figure something out that's artistically unique to you. The trick that I'm doing for Penn and Teller, it's like someone just, like a lightning bolt or someone just touched me on the top of the head and said, here it is, and it just happened. It's like I can't even take credit for it. I don't even know how it happened. And I've been doing music forever, and I've been doing magic for a long time. The two storms just came together, and that's what's gonna happen tonight. Please welcome the musical magic of Ryan Chandler. All right, thank you for having me. Two passions of mine are magic and music. And right now, I'd like to try something using a little bit of both. Allison, would you please join me on stage? Ladies and gentlemen, Allison. That's enough, that's enough. It's still my trick. Okay. Allison, here's what we're gonna do. It starts out with a deck of cards. All the cards are different. All you're gonna do is just touch one card that you feel drawn to, okay? Go ahead. Any cards you'd like? Okay. Now, just so these guys over here know that it's a free selection, why don't you go ahead and change your mind? <laughs> okay. Okay? Perfect. All right, go ahead. Show it to no one, not even the camera. Okay? Can Got I, it? Can I look at it? Do you like it? it? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so that was the card portion of the magic trick. <laughs> now, I need to get to the music portion. So, if we could uh, have Penn and Teller, please join me on stage. Come on up. <clears throat> All right, so... That's my axe. You've got your base, That's yeah. My base. You want me and to now, take it out of the stand? Nice to meet you. Now, uh, you don't talk, so I wanted to find a way to incorporate you into the trick. So I brought out a chime, and then uh, a musical instrument for you. You just strike the chime. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, guys, save it for me at the end. All right. And then we have your base. We stole this from you. Shall I take yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Go ahead, just make sure it still works. I, I believe it does. Yeah. This guy's good, he's professional. All right, so we're ready to roll. Uh, that's enough, Ben. Okay, so now we go to the teaching portion. I'm a teacher by day. You know all about that. This is a truly magical piece of music equipment known as a looper. What it allows you to do is you can record something, and then if you just press a button, it'll play it over and over and over again, endlessly, as if in a loop. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and try right now, okay? Just to be clear, everything that you are about to hear is happening in real time. Magic in the form of music. Track one will be me. Allison, you'll be on track two, so get ready to roll. Uh, track three is gonna be our Penn and Teller track. So you guys are gonna go together on that Sharing one. Sharing a track? Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna go on track four to round us up. Okay. Okay, okay here we go. Magic. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll go to track two here. Allison, I just want you to go ahead and say your name, okay? Here we go. Allison. Say hi, my name is Allison. Hi, my name is Allison. What's your favorite color? Purple. Allison. Hi, my name is Allison. Lead vocalist right there. Allison. All right, track three, the Penn and Teller track. Hi, We're gonna have Teller Allison. start off with the chime. All right, Purple. here we go. Allison. My name is Allison. Purple. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Allison. Hi, my name is Allison. All right, and then we got Penn on the bass. We're still on track three here. So here we go. Allison. Hi, my name is Allison. Hi, my 
James Allison. So you can hear the bass, you can hear everything. Purple. All right. And now I'm going to go Allison. ahead for the fourth track. Hi, my name's Allison. Not going to lie, this is going to be a little creepy, a little Purple. weird, a little different. Allison. Hi, my name's Allison. Purple. Allison. Hi, my name's Allison. Okay, Penn, since you are a musician, I know both of you guys do a lot. Can you put the bass back, and then I'll go Allison. ahead and I'll take your chime. Hi, my name's Allison. And I'm going to let you come over and actually play with the looper a little bit. Okay. Okay, so uh, come on over. Now, they say when you take an old record Allison. and you spin it backwards, sometimes Hi, you get that Allison. hidden message. Teller, do you see that reverse button right there? We're going to go Allison. ahead, hit the reverse button. We'll hear it Hi, in reverse. Hi, my name's Allison. Yeah. Huh? And then if you'd like, go ahead and slowly drag back each track. Now, Allison, you picked a card right at the beginning. Any card you wanted for the first time, go ahead and show everyone your card. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison, Penn, and Teller. Ryan Chandler! Oh, well, you earned that applause. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you. Very impressive. I was a little worried when you gave me my own track. I oh, like, I, I wasn't. I had confidence in you. Oh, I thanks. knew you'd do it. Hit it out of the park. <laughs> Did you ever want to just be a musician? Uh, absolutely. I just wasn't good enough. And uh, same thing with magic. So I just try to do a little bit of both, and hopefully you guys are entertained by it. So. <laughs> or my, maybe you're great at both. And, and you teach? Yep, I'm a teacher by day. So what do you teach? I teach uh, middle school, six, grades six through eight. Oh, wow. And it's kind of fun. When I get the sixth graders, they don't know I do magic. So I just kind of like make things disappear without letting them know. <laughs> so they'll be sitting there and I'll make something vanish. And then I'll walk off. And then I'll, I'll say, do you have that? And they're like, what, where did it go? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Let's see if Penn and Teller know all the beats to your trick. All right. Sounds good. Uh, boy, it's, uh, it's really great. So nice to see that. And so nice to see looping used. I love, I love looping. And they, uh, you know, the Beatles did a uh, white album, and on it was Revolution Number 9. If you played that backwards, you got, turn me on, Didman, turn me on, Didman, turn me on, Didman. And I would play that on my, on my uh, turntable way back when we had those backwards over and over again until I could do it. And then I got a tape recorder, then tested it so I could actually say number nine backwards. It made the whole thing very, very plausible and very good. But you know, like all good magicians, you told a lie right up top, right at the very beginning, really early on. One that everybody else believed, and uh, we even believed until we saw the trick. So I'm going to give you, I've already told you that part of that, but I'll give you the other part of that in uh, uh, backwards. He's sorf. He's sorf. Wasn't it? Do you understand Esorf? I, I understand that, yeah, completely. I'm not as good at code, do you understand? <laughs> Welcome to my world. I'm a middle school teacher. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like they know yes. how you did yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you very so good. much, Ryan yeah. Chandler. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. No, no, get away from there. <laughs> try to bust more magicians, and later they'll perform a trick of their own. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>